Hey, what is up guys? Man here for the Toasty Bros and I am back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about RAM. Specifically, what effect RAM has on your gaming performance. We're going to be adding two more gigs of RAM to the $15 PC. Now, if you haven't seen the $15 PC video, hit the I in the top right corner and check that video out first. What we're going to be doing is upgrading the $15 PC from 2 gigs of RAM to 4 gigs of RAM, DDR2, just so you know, and we're going to see how well with the integrated graphics this PC gets a performance jump or does it perform any different at all. So this should be a very interesting test for all of you out there rocking older PCs and only have 2 or so gigs of RAM and want to play some games, even some of these titles like Half-Life 2, Left 4 Dead 2, and much much more at lower resolutions like 720p which we're going to be testing at. So without further ado, let's get right into the benchmarks. There's one disclaimer I want to make in this video, and the reason is why I didn't include the Left 4 Dead benchmark that I did in the previous $15 PC. The main reason is there's this blue screen of death error that seems to be coming from Windows 10 drivers with this CPU and chipset. For some reason, it just keeps blue screening and all the error messages point to either being a RAM problem or a CPU driver issue, which for some reason, after I did a memory test for stability, had no issues and errors there, seemed to just link back to drivers in Windows 10. So it may be an issue with this older chipset on Windows 10 and something definitely to think into when upgrading a system like this to an, a newer operating system, but definitely just wanted to let you all know why Left 4 Dead was not included in the benchmark. Alright, so as you can tell, there was a performance boost, which is actually quite surprising. From 2 gigs of RAM to 4 gigs of RAM, there seems to be a little bit of an FPS jump in games like Half-Life 2 and TF2, mainly not in stability. The average FPS was about the same, but you were able to get more FPS on the Mac side of things, which really comes down to the CPU being a bottleneck and also graphics being a bottleneck considering we're using integrated graphics, but that is something we will definitely upgrade down the line and test also. Another factor is we are running a very, very slow hard drive, which seems to be pinging at 100% a lot more than it should be. So we definitely want to upgrade the hard drive in this system and try to keep the cost as low as we can. That one stick of DDR2 was pretty much scrapped. Jackson had it lying around, so we're really not going to add it to the cost because you can pretty much find DDR2 lying around all over the place, especially two gigs of it. It wasn't that much of an upgrade, and it's only a dual channel supported board, so the two gigs added to it was pretty much all we could do unless we found a four gig stick to make it six, and the motherboard only supports a max of eight gigabytes, so. Oh well, four gigs of RAM in this system seems to add some more life to it, just a little bit more, inch by inch for making the system a little bit more powerful, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below, and comment what you think I should do to improve this video, and if you think I should upgrade it. I think I'm about throwing a graphics card in here. If you all be interested in that, comment down below, and I will definitely, definitely do that. So thank you guys again. Be sure to hit the sub button for more content from the Toasty Bros, and peace out.